So uh, thanks for coming. Um, I'm just going to be showing some films first. Um, the first one's a music video for my band, and then there's some other films I made in the last three, four years, maybe. If that's okay. But I'm just going to play them and then we can talk about other things afterwards. Uh, the first one, I think the sound isn't as good as it could be, so it might be a bit difficult to hear what they're saying, but I hope it, it, it's just for all I thought. Okay. The last one was also a music video. Um, it's, this band, Simple Studio, asked me to do it for me. Anybody got any questions? Taking the piss out of them as like pops and plants. No, I think that's, you know that's all I did. I mean, you have to remember this is a few years ago as well. Right? There was some notion. That, no, I think it's just a funny kind of irony they're going for, or the guy at least, you know. Uh, and I just try to, you know, I guess the, the clash with this sort of National Front pub was going to bring out some kind of reaction. I mean, they, they were all, you know, quite friendly. They saw that one guy at the end saying I was a bit of middle class, which is their point. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's one, of those, it's one of those things that made me not want to make films anymore because, you, you, you know, you know, those are the kind of people that ask you to make a film. So you end up in a situation where you're almost taking advantage of somebody that maybe you would like you know, that maybe you would like to work with preferably, but it never happens that way, do you know what I mean? It's like, you, you, it's, a, it's a form of exploitation that occurs, and in this, this case it is all right, you never had a good time, but it's sort of, it's semi dodgy, you know. It just, it seems like <clears throat> a really ridiculous over the top coming together in harmony through karaoke of two quite different Groups, and it seems, to, and it. I, I don't think though that anybody was looking at it as uh, uh, under those. Looking at these points, you know, people were just going over these young kids, you know. Because I knew the one guy, Ronnie, who is kind of the main actor, and he, and he kind of put a word in, and uh, I don't think anybody went over when these Hoxton kids. Because at that time, maybe it was five, four years ago or something. Uh, that didn't really exist so much as it is now. So. Yes? So you say in like, what makes that put you off making films for other people, but right. you continue to make <laughs> a lot more for yourself? Or what? Not really, no. I mean, that's why, uh, you know, one of the reasons I decided to only make music really the main reason being that I thought this kind of thing is just not in your face enough. You know, you can show these films and you get a certain kind of audience. There's not really, for this kind of thing, there's not really an audience. You can say maybe because it's slightly too shoddy to be shown on television or anything. Or I guess now you can put them on YouTube and that's quite good. Um, but, or even if you show them in an art gallery, which I've done before, it's, it's, it's a very limited audience. But it's, now, you know, I don't know how much you know about my band or whatever, but I get to play in quite, you know, big venues to all kinds of people and, and I find that much more um, useful, you know. It's, it's more of a clash, it's kind of more of a replication of real life, you know, rather than making some sort of film that becomes slightly abstract. You might have some ideas that you want to get across, but it's kind of people watch it, you can take it or leave it, you know, it's not, gonna, it's not really offending anybody. You know, obviously it's a comedy or something, but yeah, if you know what I mean, there's 
So do you feel like that your um, videos now that you make um, make them as music videos? Um, so they were always music videos, but because your band's bigger, does it mean that you're still making hits? I, I haven't really made any films recently since I've just been touring a lot and things like that. So and, and I find it too time consuming for you know as far as. Uh, do you get other people to make films now? Might do, yeah, yeah. Have you have I mean, so far it's only been sort of live videos and things like that, which, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, if somebody had a really good idea, I'd, I'd be up for it. So. And did the music come out of the filmmaking too, like, did you... No, not really, it was more like, the way I look at it is that, I think, maybe 10 years ago or something, it was, it, because the technology changed and so on, 10 years ago it didn't seem something you wanted to do, become a musician professionally. It was now you've got all my space and things like that, and, and the ent nature of entertainment has changed, as I say. You know, whereas maybe 10 years ago you thought, oh, you'd be in a band, but that would not, would not be your profession, you know. And um, now all these things have changed. I mean, that's, that's the way I look at it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's personal reasons as well, so I get that. Nobody will tell you, oh, yeah, you can become a musician, you know. I think it's, it's uh, you know, it takes a while to stop listening to other people, basically. Yeah. So, with the filmmaking, um, did you find that, like, the action, the energy was sort of, like, focused when the film was rolling? Because I was left thinking, you know, with that frame, what happens when it's not rolling, the planning, and, like, that situation is set, and then got the filming. Is it a case, like, now, perhaps focusing more on the band and whatever, and then the framings change. Is that sort of energy sort of prolonged? Does it sort of, or is it just the key point like when performing, and that's sort of the equivalent of when the cameras are on when you're filmmaking? Or is that no, sort of energy I mean, sustained more? I mean, that's quite an abstract sort of question you're asking there, but, um, I mean, the way I look at it, it's like things that happen, you know, on a daily basis are almost more important, you know, it's like, a, a, you know, I'm interested in having a, a clash with the, the kind of people that, you know, insulting me or have done in the past in the street, you know, those are the kind of people that I want to interact with and not some sort of educated art audience, you know, no offence, but it's like, it's, it's that sort of idea of preaching to convert it. Uh, was, you know, I want to get back at these sorts of cunts are making stupid jokes about me because they're, they were used to a man or a woman or something like that, you know. And that's, I find that much more useful.